Hey there, how's it going? So, uh, you know, a little different video today I wanted to do. Um, this is actually the first time I actually um, dug into a story. The uh, first time I actually just wanted to talk about something. Like, you know, it's like, I kind of thought about, like, what kind of Twitter, or not Twitter. Well, it does involve Twitter, though. Like, what kind of, like, journalism kind of thing can I talk about, though? And just, like, apparently last night, so, you know, it's just kind of weird talking about it, because, like, it's like, it's like, seriously, like, wow. Like, just, I wrote down notes on everything on this freaking topic. I'm just like, fuck, man. This guy's an asshole. <laughs> so, let me turn this down. So, apparently, if you were, like, on Twitter or if you were on Amarat's stream and stuff, then you saw what unfolded yesterday. A lot of big streamers freaking heard about, like, hell, they were fucking woken up and shared, like, dude, what the fuck, man? You need to see what's happening. Freaking, so, apparently, Amarath is married, and, and, it's and it's an abusive one, and freaking, it, like, this kind of just came out of nowhere, and, like, no one knew that she was married and everything, though, even though that she's been wanting to reveal it forever, like, you know, she just wanted to have a stream with him right there, probably playing games or something, like, shit, there's really nothing wrong with that, it's like, you know, it's like, I really don't get that, it's just like, you know, it's like the way that, like, I I'm going to play the video later, though, but I, it's like, I want to go on before I actually do play part of it and everything. I'm not, I'm not going to play the whole thing because, like, it breaks my heart seeing someone cry, like, oh, fuck. You know, it's just like, like, this is, you know, it's, it's, it's like, I I'm just trying to be respectful. So, let me, so, Alright, so, like, the, the video starts out and stuff, you know, like, she's already, like, I don't even know how it started, though, but apparently the title was Overwatch 2 with Moist Critical and stuff, and freaking, and, and hell, Charlie already made a video on, on it and stuff. I thought he was just quick at it, though, but the title in there, shit, man, had something that has to be said and stuff, like, abuse is not, it's not cool, man, like, it's really not, it's like, like, you, like, when, like, you have no right to be like abusive and everything. It's like, it's like it's not even arguing. Like there, like there's a difference between arguing with someone. It could be like, what, what do we want for dinner? But this is like controlling over her career. Like he's like apparently he has control all over all over her social media like profiles, Twitter, OnlyFans, fucking. He probably has, like, fucking Snapchat or whatever, Facebook or, you know, like, all of that shit. And it's just, like, that is, that's already scary enough that he has, like, control over it. And he's threatened to, like, freaking destroy it. He's like, oh, I'm gonna tweet this right now. <laughs> fucking going keyboard warrior over here, man. And freaking, shit, man, I haven't even gone through it all yet, though. So, freaking... Like, on the phone and everything, if you watch the original video, I'm only going to play part of it and stuff, out of respect. Is that he threatened to take the dogs. He threatened, like, and well, apparently she also has horses and everything. He threatened to practically kill the horses, take them to a slaughterhouse, turn them into glue or meat or whatever, you know? It's like, and that's fucking, like, fuck. And he was all like, I'm going to take all the money, like. It's like, when I saw that, it was like, it was 750k. I was like. 750k like like dude this guy's a fucking dick like fuck dude he wants to take all the money and that wow so like there is another video and stuff um apparently he broke like so they got into a fight and everything like there's two fights i like i think it was separate though like i'm not just trying to i was trying to dig as much as i could though but apparently he broke that he, bro he like broke a doorknob or something like like, I don't even know how. It's just like, you know, there was, like, cracks around the doorknob and shit like that, though. He must have, like, just fucking pulled it. That's right. Yeah, she was scared of him or something, so she locked herself in the bathroom and everything. He, like, broke down the door or something, though, too. I think that might be a separate situation, though. Don't don't quote me on that. Um, But, man, I was like, honestly, I only want to just, like, I only want to talk about this because, like, like this is abuse and everything. Like you, Like, you never know when someone's like in an abusive relationship and like freaking especially when it was like a secret that someone this big is in a marriage and stuff like that and all the sin like you know 
like there's a lot of people who are like just giving still giving shit and you know like be like just like some what some of the other people said be a normal motherfucking person you know have some respect for someone i'm just saying because you know you know it's really not right like just because she shows her ass on only fans like like, you do know that he's the one that made her do hot tub streams, pole dancing, and stuff like that. And like, he makes the schedule for her. You know that? He's, like, full-on manager and stuff and, like, freaking married to her, to her and shit. And it's just like, holy fuck. Like, he dug in deep. He was, like, I, like, I, like dude. And what else? Like, she, like, he is a dick. Like, she, like, she kept calling him and all that stuff. And <laughs> I, I kind of did laugh at the end of the video. And she, she, she said he has a tiny penis. That's like, during a breakup, man. Like, that's going to happen. Like, they're going to be like, oh, he has a tiny penis. Like, that's probably true. Because, like, if you watch the video and everything, he's hella fucking mad. He probably does have a tiny dick. Like, shit. Like, I, like, oh my god. Like, freaking, like, it's just, just horrible just watching the whole thing. And, like, and, and, you know, freaking, and she's even said in the video that, you know, like, suggested going to anger management. She probably just brushes that shit off. He's like, I don't need to go to anger management. Yeah, sure you don't. Sure you don't, buddy. And I'm not a security guard. But, shit, man. Anyways, like, you know, like, there is just a lot to this kind of thing. It's just, like, freaking, like, you know, like, I actually, like, I went to, I actually went to TwitchCon and everything. Freaking, I thought about taking a picture with her, though, but I was just, like, I didn't, I didn't even recognize her, to be honest, and stuff. And, like, she's, like, you know, she's a lot shorter in person. Though, and it's just like, you know, it's funny. She was over at the AIM controller booth and everything and stuff. And I want two controllers over there. And freaking, you know, it's like, I only, I only mean this to be supportive, man. And freaking like, this is, this is just wrong to hear. It's like someone just treating someone this way and stuff. It's just, my God. Like, do you know how many guys would like, do you know how many guys would give up so much, like, guys would give up so much shit to be with someone like that. A fucking supermodel, dude. A supermodel that streams, does OnlyFans and everything. Like, fuck. Shit. Like, man, like, that guy just is fucking up, dude. It's like, and I, and I know everyone has to agree that this guy is fucking up. What a piece of shit. So, I want to play the video and everything of what I want to show and everything. Um, I don't want to, like, go the whole eight... I don't know. I'm only at eight minutes right now, though. But, like, I've only gone off of um, the video. Like, a few videos I saw, though. Oh, yes! That's right. There was a creepy end to her stream and everything. It was like, the door opens slowly and the stream ends. And, like, and the last thing she says, like, what do you mean? Have I taken my medic... Like, it just cuts off. She was about to say medication. And freaking... Oh, dude. I hope the... Like, I hope the cops are just, like... Helping her. Because, like, you know, like, this kind of thing shouldn't happen to people and everything. When they don't feel safe in their own house. When someone actually goes to the goddamn house. And freaking... It's just, like... Like, when you have actual actually something to worry about that's when it's actually serious because that person does mean to put harm onto someone and you can like make fun of amaranth or whatever like you can like you can talk all the shit you want though but this is still a person at the end of the day it's like hell i woke up to twitter actually i didn't find out about this situation until i was on my way home from work so i, I had to wake up at like 3.45 a.m. for work and all that shit. Just so I can um, start work over in uh, San Maria at 7.30. And freaking just seeing this on the way home. Like, I had my earbuds in and stuff. 
freaking, you know, I was just chilling with the coworker Angel and all that shit. It's just like, I was like, fuck, dude. You know, it's just like, you know, it's just, it just makes you think about, like, abuse again. You know, it's just like, you know, it's like, hell, man, if you're in an abusive relationship, get out. Get out. And I think that, you know, after this, like, go on a vacation. Go to Hawaii or something, you know. go Like, go somewhere and go have fun. Make sure you get that divorce finalized, okay? Or actually, maybe appeal an annulment. Because the annulment could... I think it could go through and everything if you base it on it was about abuse and everything. And maybe you can keep all your money. And I, and I, and I truly think maybe through that way... Like, I've heard through annulments gone through, like, because of, like, of so much abuse... Maybe you can get that and stuff, you know, it's like, you know, you hate to see someone cry. You just hate to see someone cry. And it's just like, especially one of the biggest female streamers on Twitch and stuff. And so, yeah, man, I think we should all kind of think about like, fuck, you know, we're just people at the end of the day. So, all right, let's play Literally got physical with me. And then, like, who fucking tried to take my phones away because he was gonna destroy my PC when I recorded it. Now he's just trying to say bullshit because he knows he fucked up. He just admitted he was lying. Fucking asshole. Let me stop making threats about you're gonna ruin my career and kill my dogs and sell my horses and send them to a meat auction if you're gonna fucking be this way. No, I'm not gonna let. I'm not gonna answer your phone call now. The fuck? Now that you know that I'm streaming it and you're like, oh fuck. Yeah, you piece of shit. You're just gonna lie because you know that it's lied, asshole. I'm fucking tired of this shit. Yeah, fucking tweet about it, bitch. You literally just admitted you were lying about the tweet, you fucking dipshit. Fake as fuck, God, I wish. I've been telling him we fight so much, we should just fucking stream it. Just fucking done with it. Never good enough. When I was a two, 1k, when I was a, a 500k Andy, it was like, why can't you just get 1k? When I was a 1k, why can't you just get 5k? When I was 5k, why can't you just get 10k? And now that I'm a 10k Andy, it's like, why can't you be at 20k? It's like, it's never fucking good enough. I don't get days off. I don't get to see my horses. He's saying he's gonna sell my horses because I'm not hitting 20k, 15k average viewers. <laughs> Fucking tired of this shit. Fucking asshole, dude. So fucking toxic. I can't fucking have a normal stream and enjoy myself without comparing me to every single fucking girl that's online. Online right now, you have all these followers. You should be two times as much, three times as much. You should be at five extra viewers. I'm like, shut the fuck up and just let me enjoy my fucking stream. I fucking can't deal with it anymore. With the, the threatening to fucking kill my dogs. Too much. Now he's blaming me. He's like, I was literally answering DMs while arguing with you. It's still working. You just ruined us. Like, well, maybe you shouldn't fucking say you're gonna kill my dogs, you fucking dipshit. Like, I'm so tired of it. If you can't fucking control yourself, fucking go to anger management like I've been trying to tell you for years. Go get fucking therapy. Tired of this shit. Like, I haven't left for years because it's like a Jekyll and Hyde situation where it's like when we're not fighting, everything feels like when we were dating again. Like, fuck off. You want to divorce me? Fine. Whatever. I don't care anymore. I'm just tired of it. Just divorce me because I wasn't successful enough for you, even though I helped you make fucking multi millions of dollars. You want to burn it all to the ground because you're a bitch. Fucking sure. Whine about it.
don't give a fuck anymore. I'd rather be broke again than deal with this shit anymore. Give a fuck. I'm so done. I'm so fucking done. I've been wanting to tell people that, well, let's just stream together. Just tell them that we're fucking married. Because it's like, our relationship would be better if we just stream them. And it's fighting all the time. But no, Mr. I don't know. Don't say that because it's going to run the business model. It's not time yet. Fuck yourself. I'm done with it. I'm not going to fuck you anymore. Shit. Don't with this shit. You don't want you want me to tell them I'm single? It's about to be true, piece of shit. Go fuck yourself. <sighs> Small dick anyways. God damn it. This is not funny. I'm so dumb with it. He go fuck himself. And he's like, oh shit, you're alive. You saw that you heard that voice fucking change. It's like, oh, Fuck went silent completely and then, oh, uh, why did you swap me? Dude, you fucking already said that that was fake and that you were lying about it, you asshole. Yeah, maybe you don't do that. Oh my god. You ruined it? Yeah? Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. I'm done with it. Too long. Don't get married, it's a trap. Oh, I also just want to remind you, please, there's no room for harassment. You know, don't go to either of these people, like, even if you know who the guy is and everything, let the cops deal with it, too. Like, she, like, you know, like, if you're a fan of Amaranth and everything, just be there for her, and I think that's right to do. Like, you know, like, even if you're a simp, give, like, Simp's got to have a heart and be like, man, what a piece of shit. And then, like she's even said, like I have, I've, I've had offers from plenty of guys, and how go take them? Go, go have fun. Go have fun. It's like no one should go through abuse. And again, you know, don't, don't, don't harass anyone. You know, like these people. Well, Amrath deserves a lot of respect. <laughs> Just saying. But yeah, man, give her a break already. Hey, thanks for watching. Come hit that like and subscribe. Come take a look at the new merch shop and everything. Got some mugs. Get, come get yourself a t-shirt if you want. You know, just hell, come join the Discord. Got a Facebook group. Come join me on Twitter. Everything that uh, all of my socials are going to be in the description right below. So uh, thanks for coming, man.